came from near, they came from far, following the distant star to where he lay, not being sure of what it meant, but knowing it was heaven sent, they made their way. And the creatures gathered round and didn't make a sound. And the angels cried. The angels knew what was to come. The reason God had sent His Son from up above. It filled their hearts with joy to see. And knowing of his destiny came tears of love. And the creatures gathered round and didn't make a sound. And the angels cried. I've often thought about that night and wondered if they realized that star so bright was sent to tell all of when the Son of God would soon become the Son of Man. And the creatures gathered round and didn't make a sound. Just a cabin God gave me. There are no streets of gold, just an old country road. But I'm happy and I'm free. There's a rich man inside of me. A poor man goes in a poor man's clothes with a poor man. Shoes on his feet, but I'm happy and I'm free. You can't judge a book by its cover, so people don't pity me. There's a rich man that you can't see. But God sure been good to me. He's building me a home, and soon I will be gone to live up yonder. So you see, there's a rich man inside of me. A poor man goes in a poor man's clothes with a poor man. Shoes on his feet, but I'm happy and I'm free. You can't judge a book by its cover, so people don't pity me. There's a rich man that you can't see. I'm just a poor man. Let's be on all measures. God has made a rich man out of me.
Thank you, Lord. Praise your name for the breath that I breathe. Thank you, Lord, for every blessing I receive. Please keep me humble and a word for thee. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Amen. I needed you so bad. You <coughs> saved my soul, and I'm so glad. Please use me, Lord, that's my plea. Let the light shine in me. For the whole world to see. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Amen. I've been mocked when I pray. I don't care what people say. Thank you, Lord, you've been so good to me.
Anybody here? I was about to sing that uh, thank God and I'm free. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, go ahead and sing it back. I'm free. Can you all pray just one about the doubt and Thomas will be good too? <laughs> <laughs> Pray just a few minutes. I don't know if I can find the words of that, Tom. You got the word? No, I don't. <laughs> you pray just a few minutes. God be my helper. Uh, had a lot of thoughts on my mind this evening. It seemed like the Lord just flooded my soul. Uh, you pray just a minute. I don't know if I can find that, Thomas. If I can find the words to it, brother, you pray just a minute. <coughs> uh, I'm trying to think what the words are. Just pray just a minute. God be my helper. I'll try it. I don't know if I remember it or not. <clears throat> Lord, take care of it. For a long time I've traveled Down a long, lonely road My heart was so heavy In sin I sank low Then I heard about Jesus what a wonderful hour. I'm so glad that I found out He would bring me out through saving power. Thank God I am free, free, free from this world of sin. I'm washed in the blood of Jesus. I've been born again hallelujah I'm saved 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 by his wonderful grace I'm so glad that I found how he would bring me out and show me the way like a bird out of prison that's taken his flight Side, like a poor wretched beggar who's found fortune and fame. I'm so glad that I found out he would bring me out and show me the way. Thank God I am free, free, free from this world of sin. I'm washed in the blood of Jesus. I've been born again. Hallelujah. I'm saved, saved, saved by His wonderful grace. I'm so glad that I found out that He would bring me out and show me the way. Praise God. Amen. Now you pray just a few minutes, God being our help, right? I've got a lot on my mind this evening, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it out or not. Um, if you will, turn to the uh, last, book, uh, uh, last chapter of the book of Mark. I want to read you a few verses, and then go over to the book of James, about the fifth chapter, very familiar scripture. And I want to read just a little bit, and, and God being my helper, I want to preach just a little bit. God, I, I tell you, God's good to me. I, I don't know how He is to everybody else, but uh, I've been blessed. Uh, seems like this year has been pretty tough around the farm. And, but God's taught me some things. He's taught me some patience. He, he's 
helped me along life's journey and he, he's taught me that praise God uh, it ain't about me it's about everybody else amen. and sometimes God will slow you down so you'll shut up and listen amen, amen. amen. so he can use you you see, if I'd have been out here in this world of working and doing what I usually do, I'd have missed all the things that God brought to me this week. Amen? I'd have missed, amen, being up all night and praying. I ain't slept in the jury until three nights. Amen? But praise God, I'm blessed. God's revealed things to me. He showed me things. Amen? He showed me where I need to grow. Showed me where I need to get back to. Amen? See, when I first got saved, now I told somebody the other day, amen, when I started first started preaching, now I was a stem winder. Praise God, amen. Huh, come on. I believe, amen, to the extent that I believe if God told me to run through that wall right there, I'd have took off a running. I'd have never questioned what He said. I just took off running. And I believe that, praise God, God would either stop me or He'd have made a hole before I got there. Amen? Do you believe that? Amen. Praise God, you know, it's so easy to believe when you first get in this thing. But then you start listening to all these, all these people that's sowing discord and all these people that's sowing doubt and saying the Word of God don't mean it this and they don't mean that. And praise God, amen, first thing you know, they got you doubting the God that saves your soul. Can I get an amen? Hey, let me tell you something. God knows it all. God is all. And God can take care of anything in your life. Now praise God. What we got to realize is we got to trust Him with what He deals with us. Hey, amen. We're talking to coming. Before we ever got down, I thank God for Rick and Sister Judy Sizemore. Hey, amen. Coming and being with us tonight. I thank God for that. Me and Sister Judy prayed in many a prayer. Seen God in my answer in many a time, ain't we, sister? Hey, man, you never thought that that man had come into that restaurant that day. Hey, man, drunk in the straw. I scared you to death. Would I ever been the one that hold your hand? I could have hard times of life and pray heaven down. I, can I get an amen? But praise God. God knows what He's doing. Amen. Can I get an amen? All God's looking for is somebody tonight that will believe Him. Hey, man, listen to me. I see more. Do you believe God tonight? Amen. Do you live by the Word? I mean, do you live by the Word of God? It stays right in your life. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, if they're not, you're not living by the Word. You lied to yourself and everybody else. And I don't know how many times I've got to stress that in this church. Amen. You preach it Sunday after Sunday, Wednesday night after Wednesday night, and still, they get a little something wrong. Can I get an amen? Come on, people. Yeah, see, so he's going to start that again, Jerry. I don't care what people think about me tonight. I'm going to preach a gospel, and I'm going to get this thing across to you. And praise God, it's time we get down to business with God. Can you pray tonight? Say, so I think I can. Well, let me ask you, sir. I'm going to ask you just a couple of questions here tonight. And praise God, I'm going to go on and preach. Amen. Praise God. If you believe God to the place, I don't even want to know how, how long you've been saved. I don't want to know how long you've lived for God. But I will ask you this question. Amen. In the walk of your Christian life, how many people, amen, have you won to the Lord? How many have you prayed for and helped them get in this thing? Praise God. So that ain't what it's all about. What is it about then? Amen. The Bible says you're to be a witness for the Lord Jesus Christ. And he might get glory from your life. Can I get an amen? They people that's around you every day it's lost without God. And you can't help them because you need help yourself. Can I get an amen? Somebody say amen. You better want to win somebody to God. Open your mouth and do it. Hallelujah. People say what you ask my people to forsake. Why don't you ask them amen? Why don't you 
If I didn't believe God was going to save somebody at Jamestown, Tennessee, I wouldn't waste my time or money getting my truck ready to go to Jamestown. Can I get an amen? But I'm telling you right now, we may be in a week revival before we come back. Amen. Say, preacher, you're crazy. I've been seeing some things you won't believe. But praise God, I'm here to tell you, amen, if I have to saddle Wiley up and ride him on in the camp, praise God, I'm going over the glory of God because somebody is going to be touched. Yeah, but that's right. Excuse me, We say we believe God to the uttermost, but yet we don't believe Him enough to where we've got enough power to God to even change people's lives. Come on. Most are going to get caught tonight. That's okay. I didn't expect too many people to shout tonight anyway. <laughs> Not what I've been seeing. Say, so, preacher, you've lost your mind. Maybe I have, Billy Joe. But when I ain't asleep and I'm praying, and they're reading the Word of God. And it'd be, it would be shocking to you. Hey Amen. Let me ask you something. Are you just idling? Are you one of them people that say you believe God to the uttermost and you're just idling through? When you see somebody with cancer, God says He's going to heal them. Are you one of them people that say, well, it might happen. God couldn't do it if He wanted to. But well, that ain't what God said. God said if you believed it. Woo! God said if you believed it. He said if you believed it. If you believed it, He'd do it. Amen. Is that not the Word of God? The Bible said all things are possible. You tell me why that I can't go to Jamestown, Tennessee and preach a caught up in herself and nobody else matters. Blessing, blessing. Yeah, you. If God's a sending you to win somebody to the Lord and you don't do it, does it bother you? Blessing, what if they die? If they die lost without God, don't you understand that the blood's on your hands? Come on! And if you ain't not with God enough to pray and have enough power to win them on into this thing, you're going to give them a chance. Amen. God didn't save you to sit on the bench and be a bench warmer. Yes. God saved you to be a witness, an ambassador of Christ Jesus. Amen. And I didn't know I was going to preach on all this, but praise God, I'm going to tell you something. Me and Rick are talking. He was looking back through time. Even how he got to go wood, he wanted to go to the last got to go for a month then have a two dollars in his pocket fish and done it all you see God opened him a door God opened us a door that blue life and you know what we do we miss the blessings of God because we got our own eyes on ourselves can we get an amen when God opens a door you're supposed to step through it for the glory of God amen he said to acknowledge him in all of your ways Huh? When people ask you how you are, you're supposed to tell them about Jesus. Jesus first and then tell them how good you are. Come on! Right. It's amazing to me that people as are coming to our lives and we ain't got enough a power of God about us to even win them, amen. They suffer us. Somebody's going to give an account. I just wonder just how many people truly believe God. Say, preacher, I don't like you. Well, let me explain something to you how this thing works. There have been a lot of people come to this church. There have been a lot of people got mad. And they swore up and down to other people that they'll never come back. But you know what they're going to have to do? They'll never get what they need. I listen to these doubting people and so discord. They don't believe in healing. I don't believe in divine deliverance. I don't believe in anything. Hey, man, they'll stand in the pulpit every Sunday morning and preach about a God that'll save your soul. But yet they 
It's amazing to me how people sit in church and praise God every, every Sunday morning, every Wednesday night, and they'll get with an ungodly bunch, and the next thing you know, they're talking like them, acting like them, running with them. Come on! I don't know why this is coming, but I'm going to preach. I sat there this evening and my sister cried. You see, I knew he had cancer before she, before he ever went. I've been praying. And I just seen just how much people really need me. Now you people out there in this world can, hey man, I, I pray to God you get a hold of this. I like this thing right here, okay? I really like that, Jerry. I hope people on YouTube get a hold of this. You say anything about yourself, Billy Joe, they'll call you a bragger. Hey man, let me tell you what I am. I'm a chosen man of God. I'm going to read to you what my uh, place in life is. And then you figure out what God's are doing. Hey man, is He doing anything in you? Hey man, is He doing anything in you? Are you are, hey, you're falling behind. Uh, hey man, praise God because you ain't right with God. Can I get an amen? Brother, if you want your mama to walk, go in, pray with her, touch her ankles. Hey man, claim it in the Holy Ghost, uh, in the name and the blood of Jesus. Uh, I don't care if they think you're a holy roller. I don't care if they think you're a charismatic. If you want her to walk, praise God, give it to her in the name of Jesus. Uh, say, preacher, you can't do that. I'm going to read to you tonight where you can. Amen. Amen. But don't be like the one amen that tried to cast out the devil. Say, Paul, I know Christ, I know who you And the Bible said, come out of that man loving her. Better joke for her, don't you think the devil don't know who you belong to? <laughs> he lost you among the dead. <laughs> you become a living right in the tombstones on top of the mountain, praise God. Come on! Amen. Don't you think the devil don't know who you are? And if he can get you to where you doubt just a little bit, praise be unto God, amen, listen. Amen, come on. Praise be unto God, hey, He'll tire you down. You'll never be a witness. You can't do nothing for God because you're too scared, amen, to step out on faith. And great people's going to talk about you. It'll hurt for a little while, but praise God, after a while, you'll get callous over and you'll just get the middle of the presence of God. It won't matter anymore. Amen. amen. I'm going to preach some holiness stuff. Tires me up. I like getting a good homeless meeting. Huh? Some of you ain't never seen a homeless meeting. Amen. Praise God, I have. I've seen it when it got some good people fell out in the spirit. You can make fun and laugh about it if you want to, but it's real. I've been there, man. Come on. It ain't a joke. Praise God, if you'll read the Word of God, there's a preacher come from Mountain City to rebuke me on that. Amen. And praise God, God told me He's coming two weeks before He come. And when He come, amen, I asked Him, I said, what took you so long to get over here? <laughs> Brother, what us all the deacons with it? To talk to one little preacher. Now here we go. You better look at it. I'm going to heal it. You'll hear it. Bless him. They got to my house and laughed and talked for 45 minutes. And I already know why they come. God done told me I was ready for it. That was scripture. And they talked for 45 minutes, laughed and carried on. Everything was fine. And they finally was getting late, brother, and they still laughed and carried on. Never did tell me what they wanting. So I'm one of them nuts. They call me an instigator sometimes. But that's what they call old Elijah, wasn't it? Said he's the one that troubled Israel. No, he wasn't. He's the one, praise God, had the power of God in his life. And he's the one stirring things up. It's time God's people go to stirring things up to where people can see the glory of God. Hey man, he said, well, we gotta go. It's getting late. This lag, I love you, brother. I love you. I just got him by the hand. I said, wait a minute, I'll walk you back out to your man. Got out of the yard and I said, uh, you didn't ask me what you come for. He looked at me with 
a sheep killer and look on his face and he said, um, I didn't come for nothing. I said, don't stand in line because you did. And I said, this is what you come for. I said, you come to rebuke me over falling out of the Spirit of God. And I said, there it is. And I said, you brought all these men with you. And I said, I know why. Because these people and your daddy don't like me. And I said, that's fine. God doesn't reveal this to me. But I said, if you'll read the Word of God, amen, and you go stay there, I'll tell you where it's at. I told Brother Cody several times, I ain't giving you the Scripture, amen, to where you just jump over there and read it, and then, and then you just take it like I said, when you dig it, you don't have to worry about it. You can stand on it when you dig it out. Amen. But over there in the Word of God, Sister Jody, amen, some of you might be wondering about this Holy Ghost stuff, but the Bible said there's two that walk with Jesus. And as they walked, they began to talk. And when Jesus began to speak to them, and the power of God, on them. The Bible said they fell upon the ground as dead men. He didn't say they just died. He said they fell out in the Spirit of God. Can I get an amen? Come on! Hallelujah! Church! I'd like to get in there one more time. Let's see more. So I ain't coming back to the Holy Roller. Go on and find you a dried up church. Amen! Throw it along. Your family will be fell apart. Amen! Hell will be in your life. Because you ain't got no strength to eat, amen. Bless you, Lord. That's right, Lord. Bless you, Lord. I let him run me off once for what I believe. And I got news for you here at Pleasant Chapel Church. I ain't a running. I'm going to preach the gospel, Sister Louise. God sent me here. I'm going to preach it straight and I'm going to preach it true. And if you don't like it, You'll be the one that has to leave. I ain't moving. You'll either have to, amen, move on out or praise God, vote me out the next voting season. But if you do, you'll have to take time on Saturday night to come to church. Can I get an amen? Come on. Praise God, let me tell you something. Amen, if people was concerned, I would tell you to on that. If people were so concerned about their church well-being, they'd take time to come to the business meetings and find out just what your churches are doing. Say, preacher, ain't got a thing to do with it. Praise God, read the Word of God. The business part of it is just as important as anything else. Can I get an amen? Amen. Now it doesn't make somebody mad over that. I won't even Amen. Come on, I'm here. I'm here tonight. I'm gonna preach. That may be the only way, praise God, I'm gonna get my back better. Huh? I need a spine, amen. Come on. Listen to me tonight. I'm gonna preach a little bit. I wonder just what people believe, Lester. Come on. So yeah, I'm gonna preach this, and you don't wonder. Me and Lester's in this church, and they diagnosed Lester with cancer. And hey man, praise God, I've got a slip disc or two. Hey man, we're in pitiful shape, ain't we, brother? Hey man, they say we are. But I'm gonna tell you right now, what I own and what I look like ain't what makes me special or makes me a king. Hey man, let me tell you something. I, I'm still worshiping, praising in a wheelchair. I, I'm still wobbling along and giving glory. I, I'm still hobbling on to the hospital and win them to Jesus. I, can I get an amen so you think you're something? Praise God, I know I'm something. I, I'm a child of a king, amen. God Amen. Read over the book of Isaiah. The Bible said the anointed, he has anointed me. Yeah. Amen. To set the captives free. Bless you, Lord. To bind up the broken heart. Yeah. Have you got that kind of power in your life? You know what happens? And I've seen things this week, okay? Can I slow down, brother, and just talk a little bit and I'm going to preach, okay? You know what I've seen in life? I want people, Janet, to have the power of God so bad 
that I can taste it. I want them to be able just to fall down and heaven come. But you know what I see? I see people say pardon, weak in the Lord, amen, weak in the faith, and they're out here trying to win people to the Lord, and you know what happens? Instead of winning people to the Lord and telling people the truth, first thing you know, praise God, the people he's trying to win has drug given back. Huh? Come on! Can't even pray anymore. They act like they can. Let me ask you something. When you pray, do you ask everybody in the country to pray? Let me ask you what you try. Try to pray just a little bit yourself. Amen. See, God will hear you. So that's tempting God, no? That's trying God. The Bible said to try and prove Him, Brother Trey. To see if He won't open the windows of heaven for you and pour you out a blessing. Amen. If they ain't even room enough to receive. You know what? You're a fisherman. Now you, I, I, I'm not to say you've got probably two or three tackle boxes full of baby, man, to have lures and all kinds of stuff. Hey, man, I don't have no, I don't have no idea. You may have fifty fishing poles. Hey, man, Tony's saying, yeah, well, Thomas just looking at me. But that I'm gonna get to a point. Now, I ain't trying to embarrass you, but I'm gonna get to a point. Hey, man, now I'm gonna try you something. <laughs> My God, when you go fishing, huh? you don't get on that boat with something you don't know to work, do you? You don't haul it on the way to the lake. Hey, man, without intending to catch a fish. And you know what you know James Roden do? You search through the tackle box and you find something that's been painful at work. Hey, man, can I get an amen? Glory to the Lamb of God. Wow! Amen. Problem is, people's got the wrong stuff in their tackle box. That's right. They're taking the advice from the world and it won't work. That's right. I've come to the conclusion I don't care if anybody comes to hear me preach. I'll preach to my wife. If I keep her away, Keith. <laughs> You see, I can pick on her. She's heard more of the words preached, praise God, than most preachers. Been more faithful to the house of God and the man of God than most people are. Amen. Come on, I'm telling you the truth. I ain't bragging on her. I'm telling you what I know. I know I can count on her. If this church turns against me and runs me out for preaching the word of God, amen, I ain't going to run so easy done told you. That woman right there will be with me. Amen. We faced it, ain't we? Amen. Some of you don't know what you believe. I'm going to preach this today. Amen. I wonder just what people do believe. Amen. You see, I don't have to ask 50 people to go with me. Now, don't get me wrong now. I thank God you people's going with me to Jamestown. Amen. And you know one reason why I thank God you're going? So you can witness. You know what you saw the last time we went to Jamestown? You saw the evidence of the devil trying to kill us. But you remember the finished works, amen, that God said is going to happen? Amen, they four lives, it'll never be the same. Can I get an amen? Amen, I don't have to go and dig around in the dirt and look for them. You know what God done? God brought them to me. Can I get an amen, brother? Wasn't it worth it, amen? It's worth all the struggle and the heartaches of life. I could have said tonight I got out and walked too much today. Stiffened up pretty bad this evening. I can stay at home. Do you know that? And what happened this year? They told me not to be jumping around preaching. I feel better right now than I've had in weeks. Amen. 
You see, it amazes me when people, God gives them a job and money to survive, and praise God, they can't even take off early enough on Wednesday nights to come to the house of God. Amen. Now you can go down the road and call people that ain't here tonight and tell them what I really talked about. I ain't talking about nobody. I'm telling the truth. Amen? And if you go down the road and you call people that's in this church and tell them I talked about them, you're one of them. Amen. Backbiters. And, huh? Amen. Huh? You're one of them that sows mischief among the brethren. Yeah. And if you read the Word of God, amen, praise God, amen, if that's the kind of person you are, you know what the Bible said to me? I'm going to preach a minute. I may preach all night. I don't know if it's a good brother. Amen. But the Bible said the six things that God hates in the seventh is abomination. And that is the seventh thing. That's an abomination. Can I get an amen? Ah, right, come on. Let's see more. Amen. But yet people want to ride back and talk about the homosexuals being a, an abomination and they're doing the... Bless you, Lord. Oh, look at that. Let's see more. Be careful. I'll preach just a minute. Bless you, God. Use him. This is key, Lester. What do you want God to do in your life? We say we want God to work, but really we want God to leave us alone. Huh? Come on. We want God to use us and bless us when it's convenient. Huh? When it's convenient. I'm going to preach this to me. It's amazing to me. It's amazing to me. Rick, I've prayed for you for many, many, many years. Not one time have I ever given up on you. Not one time have you ever come to my house that I ever turned you away. Not one time in my life. Now, I've made you mad a time or two. I'm being honest there. Mm -hmm. Now, if you'll be honest, you'll tell the truth. Yeah. I made you some mad a time or two. You'd like to kill me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Tell the truth, ain't you? Yeah. There's one thing about it. I never paid you a lie, did I? Yeah. I told you the truth. Yeah. And you know what that truth is going to do for you, young man? That truth is going to lead you to the place that you're going to go to heaven. Amen. 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 Rick size more, I ain't fit for Amen. 20 years for you to let you die here to hell. Come on, Mama. I ain't fit, brother. They've had all this time and wasted all these prayers to pray that God's going to save you and put you where you need to be with God. Amen. And make a man of God. Hey, say, preacher, you ought to talk to people like that. Boy, you know I love you. Can I get an amen? Honey, I think the demons are hell for you. When you're in the hospital dying, I, I call on God. I, hallelujah. You know how I know God heard me? Honey, he just sat up here tonight. He's in the hospital dying. Oh, glory to God. I gotta read this. We say we pray, we say we're able to pray, but does God hear you? Now, I'm not talking about when you pray with a group of people. How do you know God's hearing you and He ain't hearing somebody beside you and He's answering our prayer and He's a blessing you by association? <laughs> You know what I read in the Word of God? That God blessed them people, amen, because of the men of God that were walking in their country. Amen. Huh? The men of God was in their city. And God blessed them because His men was there. Can I get an amen? Come on! Amen. <coughs> the Lord, I'm you see, I want to be the kind of man, praise God, that when you need me, I call heaven down. Come on. Do you believe that? Amen. And I want you to be the kind of man when I call you that you call heaven down and I can feel it on the other side. Amen. amen. Can I get an amen? Is that the kind of man you want to be? Is that the kind of man you want to be? Amen. Praise be unto God that you can go into work.
work and talk about Jesus. Yeah. Hey, amen. And the lost people bow down and get yeah. saved. Yeah. Hey, amen. Can I get an amen? Yeah. Hey, don't you want to be like old Moses? Hey, God and hide you in a cleft of the rock and hold his hand over you. He walks yeah. by and makes you look a little high and see the glory on your face. Yeah. You can't have that and be carnal minded. Come on. You can't have that and be blinded by the gods of this world. You know, I told people the other day, and I, I, I'm going to you a minute, okay? This preacher took me around behind the church one night and he told me I couldn't preach this because I was making people doubt their salvation. I said, no, I'm not. No, no, I'm trying to get you to believe in God and say, okay, can get an amen? Amen. Huh? God has no respect for persons. You're singing that song, knowing by the nail prints in his hand, sister, you know what the Bible says? The Bible said, we know not what we'll be like in his appearance, but we know this one thing, we shall all be like Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Christ Jesus. Amen. Come on. <clears throat> and you know what that tells me? We're going to have a glorified body. My back ain't going to hurt the empty Huh? It don't hurt right now. It'll hurt before you back to the house. You see, that's when the Holy Ghost sort of lets up and the flesh comes back in. That's where the pain's at. But when the Holy Ghost is there, you don't feel a pain. Amen. Can I get an amen? Come on, somebody say amen. amen. Now listen. The Bible said in the 16th chapter of the book of Mark, and I'm going to read this to you. The Bible said amen. It said here, I, I, Lord, I could read it all, but I, I'm going to say this now. Uh, here in this first this chapter, amen, he talked about Jesus being raised from the dead, and some of them didn't believe. Mary and Martha's report, they didn't believe. And Jesus come down here and He said over here in the Word of God and about the 14th verse, I want to read the rest of the chapter, God being my helper. He said, Afterward He appeared unto the eleven as they sat at meat and upbraided them with, with their unbelief and hardness of their heart, amen, because they believed not them which had seen Him after He was risen. Now let me ask you something. That's down the 14th verse, 16th chapter of the book of Mark. Now you know what the Bible said? The Bible said that Jesus went into His own country. And do you know, praise God, Keith, hey man, He couldn't do many miracles according to the Word of God. And do you know why He couldn't do many miracles? It was because of their unbelief. Do you know that there's one sin that'll send you straight to hell that everything else revolves on? Can I get an amen? You hear my preaching, teacher? Hey man, the Bible said it's a sin of unbelief. Right. That'll send your soul to hell. Amen. Can I get an amen? Come on. Amen. You can't halfway believe. You either believe or you're full of unbelief. Yeah. Can I get an amen? You see, if you're a believer, you won't be a drunk. If you're a believer, amen, you won't be a cousin. If you're a believer, you won't be a stealing and a lying. Right. <laughs> That's a gospel, amen. Now I'm going to tell you something. And the preacher took me behind the church and said I couldn't preach this. I went ahead and preached it. And I'm going to preach it tonight. Thomas Davis says evidence if you believe God. That's right. Johnny Davis, there's evidence if you believe the Word of God. Amen. Christy, you can sing God's Word. There was evidence in your life when you prayed. Even if it, it, uh, people say you want to pray for animals, I say you pray whatever's on your heart. The Spirit leads you to pray. God's going to get the glory. He did. You saw it. Can I get an amen? Praise be unto God. Now listen to me. Don't you let the demons of doubt come into your life and your family. Amen. You keep on believing. I'm here to help you tonight. Amen. To get the word you talk. If you believe. Amen. The 
Bible said this, And He said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe in My name. Shall they cast out devils? They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Now let me preach just a minute. Hey man, say preacher, I don't believe it. Right there's your problem. Huh? Can I get an amen? Huh? You want to know what? What's the problem? The sin of unbelief. I said, I ain't never seen it happen in my life. Why don't you go to believe in God? I, you know what? Woo! You know what Jesus told yeah. Mark and Mary down at the tomb of Lazarus? He said, Mark, I've already told you. If thou wouldst only believe, thou shalt have seen the glory of God. Can I get an amen? Amen. Amen. Now just because I believe for you don't mean, praise God, that you can't doubt. And if you doubt what I'm trying to pray for you and you don't accept it, that's your fault. You used to preach in the nursing home. Can you believe that they told us we couldn't come back because we were too loud? You believe that? Said we is too loud. The first service we ever went in there, I've been there before Christian preached. Didn't last too long, but I've been a little bit everywhere. We went into that place the first night to preach. Brother, you know what they told us? That if the, if the people that was these rolling in their beds, if they got too loud to bust a bush of buzzer, they'd come take them back to the room. I said, oh, you ain't going to have to worry about that. First thing you know, Sister Janet, they little old women never raised their hand, never spoke. Amen. In all the years it been there, when the Holy Ghost of God come and raise them little people hands and go to shout the victory for God. Can I get an amen? When it got a little holiness and the fear of God is flooding that place and some of the orderlies, amen, is getting under conviction. We got too loud then. Come on now. Do you believe? I went there silently the wind stormed. It was a little old man I've known for many years, and he's one of the wickedest men I've ever met in my life. I had a stroke. Talked to him about the Lord, tried to, he cuss you out. Cuss you out. I don't know why people are afraid to get cussed out. They cussed me out all the time when I was lost. Hey Amen. Sometimes I do stuff just get them hard up. And you can believe that. Hey Amen. Listen to me. Cussing me don't bother me. I'm being cussed. And I was preaching and God told me, Keith, this old man had a stroke, couldn't talk. He's laying there and the tears are rolling out of his eyes and that people. Couldn't say nothing, couldn't move. Just look straight at him. God spoke to my heart, and this is what He said. He, he said, you go down and ask Him. He wants to be saved. And I said, Lord, I can't. I'm in my mind. We was in a war fire, me trying to preach. And I said, Lord, I can't understand Him. You can't speak. How in the world am I going to know what He says? God said, you tell Him. He said, I give Him the ability to blink His eyes. He said, you go down and speak to him. He wants to be saved. That's what God said. I was preaching, and I walked down to the bedside. And I asked him, I said, son, I said, I can't understand you. And I know you can't speak. But I said, God told me to tell you to blink once for no and twice for yes. I said, do you understand me? And he blinked his eyes twice. I said, are you saved? He blinked them once. I said, do you want to be saved? He blinked them twice. I got down beside him in the floor. I began to call on God. Hey man, the tears began to roll. I got up and I asked him. I said, do you feel like God saved you tonight? He said, yes, I Amen. 
Now, I told you they size them probably. I ain't going to put you on the spot. Did you help that boy this week? Huh? That was confused? I told him what he needed to hear. Whether he did it. He took it. Mm -hmm. He took it. Mm -hmm. Don't you ever say I don't know. <laughs> Jim Oliver, let me tell you something. I done preach this. God let you be born. God healed you from cancer. Amen. Many years down the road, God brought you into a little church where you could hear the truth and the Spirit of God come alive in your heart. Amen. You got a burden for a young man and the truth is in here. He said, the Bible said, that out of your bellies of all rivers of living water, when you speak the Word in the anointing of God, don't you ever say, I don't know if He takes it or not. He doesn't got a hold of it. He just ain't come out yet. Amen. Uh-oh. Some of you are saying, God, don't let him come to me. <laughs> I didn't offend you by saying that, did I? No. You say, I don't have to come to ADB. <laughs> come on. I don't. I want you to walk down through the corridor. You know what I want them to see? I'm going to preach. I'm going to preach what they're looking at. Huh? You look in the mirror and see old Jim. Mm. But they look in your eyes and see the gloss of Jesus. Yes, and the love of God. Can I get an amen? Have you got it? Yes. Yeah. Hey, amen, bro. That's a good preaching. I don't care what nobody said. Hey, amen. I've done you. Boy, I wish I'd eat supper before I come. <laughs> Bible said in the 19th verse. So then after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. And they went forth preaching everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the Word with signs of following. Amen. Not only did He go with them, but He confirmed Yeah. You know what I believe is going to happen? Or a weekend. You're going to see some evidence that, that boy hurt you. Huh? He may even come speak to you tomorrow. I don't know what's going to happen. But I'm here to, to, to declare to you the power of God. Can I give that man say, Preacher, you're stepping out on the limb. Uh, no, no. What kind of God do you serve? Huh? Boy, that big man's a real weak end. I'm going to ask you again, what kind of God do you serve? Amen. I can't believe it to you. You see, you've got to believe it. Just because I believe it don't mean you believe it. Huh? Come on. Boy, it's getting quiet, man. Amen. Huh? It's getting quiet now. Getting quiet now. Go over to the book of James, chapter 5. Very familiar scripture. I'm going to read this. I'll let we got this good right now. It's best 30. I'll have it. My hip ain't even hurting that too. My gosh, just what a miracle we got in this church. Amen. What a miracle we got in this church, and we don't even appreciate what God's doing for us as a household of faith. Do you believe God now? Look, man, let me ask you something. I'm going to tell you something. Do you know the Word of God? Do you know those people that's sick that's not going to get better? Do you realize that there's things that's happening that will not change because it's for the glory of God? There's people that's going to die. And do you know we're supposed to have enough of the power of God in our life to discern which ones God wants us to pray with? Which one God wants us to lay hands on? For the Bible said that the Lord told them, said there is a sickness on the dead. And I'd have you not to pray for that. 
Don't be one of these medications that says you're going to heal everybody in the hospital because you ain't going to do it. Huh? Come on. It don't work that way, right? Matter of fact, if you've got the healing power of God, and don't tell me that they hate people that's got that gift. Amen. That went out to the disciples. Well, you Amen. just got unbelief. I won't get off on that. Because I think I stretched somebody out, praise God, talking about falling out in the spirit. But you better be careful because I've been a praying. There's a meeting to come in the Pleasant Chapel Church. To where everybody's going to feel the Holy Ghost. Amen. Huh? Come on. You ever want to be in that place? Yeah. Huh? I ain't been there now. It don't just happen ever me. Come on. You got people. I don't want this on my mind. You don't care about it. Let's put it on that. Let's nice judge. I know people at every church service. They fall out. I know people that lose their wrist, wristwatch when they fall out. And they'll get up and go get it. I've seen it, now sister, I've seen it all. <laughs> I've seen a fellow, praise God, ever meet me, fall out the spirit, and he'd open one eye. And he'd, he wouldn't fall and hit this table. You couldn't have pushed him into this table. Everywhere he ever hit the ground, or everywhere he ever hit a chair, it was a padded seat. I watched him, Jack. He'd open one eye and he'd go peeping, and he'd hit right where he's aiming for. <laughs> And you know, people thought it was, it was real. But you know what's real about falling out in the Spirit? People don't look where they fail. They'll hit their heads over tables, concrete floor, glasses fly off, don't know where they're at, and I promise you they'll never miss their wristwatch whenever they fall out. Can I get an amen? Say, preacher, I don't like that kind of preaching. Honey, it's real. You need to get a hold of it. Now listen. And it don't happen every time you come to church. Amen. Let's see a real. Amen. You feel like that's contention. Somebody don't believe that. That's okay. You don't have to. I'll tell you the truth. I was praying for this stuff. And I thought, God, wake him up. You know he's a fake in it, God. I know he's a fake in it. These people think she's in the Spirit and they man, nobody knows the difference. I said, open their eyes. We did a tent meeting one time. Now you're getting some Holy Ghost meetings at a tent meeting. I'll tell you what I said. And this old boy with one eye open jumped up and he hollered, he screamed out, I can't feel my face. Got so much Spirit, I can't feel my face. Baby, the little preacher jumped off the front row and he slapped him. Praise <laughs> God, I mean, he rolled his side. And he screamed out, did you he feel that? Amen. Praise <laughs> God, he felt that. And I'm telling you right now. And if he'd have been in the Holy Ghost, he'd have never felt it. Can I get an amen? He'd have been a different realm. I, come on, praise God. I've seen him dance in the Holy Ghost and I've seen him fake it. I prayed one Sunday morning, my God. We got a week one time, and me and one in the same off. I'll tell you this time I'm going through. We went in for a homecoming one day to preach. I was a decent new preacher. When we got there, there was a singing as loud they could sing and dancing and a hooping and a hollering and a cutting off the shine. I ever seen in my life now. You won't fool me when God's moving. Amen. Huh? If he's a moving, I'll get in this thing. I'll get involved. Yes. He wasn't in that place. And I sat there and they kept singing a song for our high for longer. And finally, hey man, there's a little old woman, she'd dance up the aisle, come back down the aisle, and she's trying to speak in tongues. And hey man, now let me tell you something. So that ain't Bible. Hey man, let me tell you something about speaking in tongues. According to the word of God, it's supposed to be done in private. It's a private thing between you and God. Amen. When you're praying, can I get an amen? The Bible said if the crowd hears you a praying in tongues, they can't say amen because they don't understand what you're saying. But now let me tell you something. Speaking in tongues is not a sin. But the Bible said if there's one that speaks in tongues, let it be corporated and interpreted. Amen. Somebody's got to know what the spirits are saying. Or you need to sit down and shut up. Can I get them? Come on, man. 
Dat wou ik te staan. Nou, listen to me. Am I still a little bit? I sat there and, and the only four people that wasn't even saying nothing was me and my wife and another couple. That preacher jumped up and he looked straight at me and said, you ought to be able to worship God whether you can feel him or not. Yeah. I thought to myself, well, you must have said, angels. God's fixing to come in this place. So I just got to pray and I said, Lord, you know I know you boys. I'm your sheep. Amen. You know that I know your boys. I'm your lamb. I'm your sheep, God. But I said, Lord, I want some reassurance. Have I missed this thing? And I said, if you're in this thing, let her dance on. But I said, if you ain't in it, shut her up. Amen? And about the time I got that out of my mouth, sister, he like you turn the radio off. That woman turned his wife and she shut up and walked over and sat down. I said, that's enough for me. Amen? I'm out of here. Can I get an amen? Amen. Amen. I stole the preacher. You're going to do what you're doing. I'm out of here. <laughs> Amen. I'm gone. Amen. Now listen. Do you know enough of God to know the difference? Do you believe God? Uh oh. Can I preach just a little bit and I'm going to listen? Now don't you people go down the road and tell these. Folks, I mean, I, I've worshipped with a lot of homeless people. I'm not mocking people with souls. Matter of fact, I love them people. You know what I found out about homeless people? They live for God. Amen. You know what? They live their life, praise God, like you're supposed to. In tune with God. Huh? Come on! I like it. Amen. I'm going to hit a lick on that for them. I, I offend somebody. Amen. There's a lot of people take a lot of things. Amen. You know, it's amazing to me. I preached one Sunday morning. A lot of you know it. A lot of you don't know it. But praise God, there's somebody on this church went and told somebody's lost that I called their name out. It caused me a whole lot of trouble. And you know, I hope the one that told it is listening to YouTube tonight. Because you know I know who they are? Huh? I prayed about it. Everything's come. I know exactly who they are. And I get to talk to them on these day. Now listen. You care if I preach just a minute? Fifth chapter of the book of James. And I want you to listen. I wonder what people believe. I, I just I don't understand. I don't understand, sister. You see, I've been with you through a lot of trouble. Held your hand when your heart was broken. You didn't think there's no reason to live. You give up hope, have you? Devastating one to John. Yeah. And I was waiting for God to move. Amen. And one morning right here on this altar. I saw the Lord reach down. And he put the wife inside of you. And you're holding him in your hands Amen. tonight. Amen. Ain't you glad you believe? I prayed for you hard. And God kept telling me it's going to be okay, and you just kept worrying. I kept saying, No, don't worry, it's going to be okay. Sister, what you got laying in that basket? The devil told you it wasn't going to happen, did he? Told you you'd never make it, did he? Huh? Being a mama ain't as easy as everybody makes it out to me. Praise God, you've got a blessing outside. <laughs> God is still in this family alive. In this family alive. Huh? Come on. 
little lives all over this church. I asked a preacher one time in a, in a meeting, and like I said, I've been put out for preaching this. And, you know, you can give me a hard time if you want to, but you ain't going me off this time. Because this may be the last place I preach before the Lord comes. When God gets done with me here at Pleasant Chapel Church, I'll have to go somewhere else. But you know what? I don't want to leave. And I believe it's worth fighting for. Amen. But to don't believe what I was preaching and teaching, I asked him, I said, what about your child to see? Ain't happening here. I'm going I'm to hush here a minute. Just hang on there, okay? The Bible said in the 11th verse, 5th chapter of the book of James, Behold, we count them happy which endure. Ye have heard the patience of Job and have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy. But above all things, my brethren, swear not, neither by heaven, neither by the earth, neither by any other oath. But let your yea be yea and your nay nay. Lest ye fall into condemnation. Amen. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any married? Let him sing songs. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church. And let them pray over him. Anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick. And the Lord shall raise him up. And if he hath committed sin, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to the other and pray one for the other that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Amen? Amen. A righteous man or a righteous woman. Come on! Amen. You can't pray heaven down with something a hindering you. The Bible said, Elias was a man subject to like passions as we are, and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain, and it rained not the, on the earth by the space of three years and six months. And the Bible said that he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth brought forth their fruit. Brethren, if any of you do err from the truth, and one convert him, let him know that he which converteth the sinner from the error of his ways shall save a soul from death, and shall hide a multitude of sins. Can I get an amen? amen. Now the Bible didn't say, if hands are but. That's right. That's right. You know what Elias done? Or Elijah? The Bible said he stood and nose to nose with Ahab. And he told him, he said, he'll not write except by my word. Now you say that in the day and time we live, sister. You know I remember one Wednesday night you stood up and I'll never forget what you said. Your boy was going blind. The doctors didn't give him no hope at all. But he had a little gray hair mom. You heard him testify and talk about the little gray haired mama that come to the house of God faithfully and believe and pray. You want to see the evidence of a saint of God right here to say, Amen. Somebody that won't compromise, somebody that believes God to the place that she believed it to the place her son can see. Amen. Never forget what she said. You know what she said? Stood up at night and the power of God all over you. I'll never forget. She said, I won't say. Amen. I won't say. I read in the Word of God, poor old Jacob wrestled with the angel of the Lord all night long. Huh? Jacob told him, said, I'll not turn you loose till you bless me. Yeah. Woo! Remember that scripture? Amen. And the Bible said that the angel rushed out and touched his hip. 
<laughs> he walked with a limb. But praise God, he's blessed. Can I get a limb? Glory to the Lamb of God. Oh, Woo, Jim, I'm about, boy, I took my breath. You broke down. That boy of yours didn't go blind, did he, Mom? Amen. Amen. Hey, answered prayer. Just because she believed in a God that was able. Amen. Amen. I'm going to ask you again, do you believe God? I'm not talking about, do you believe God in a congregation? Do you believe God when everybody's around you? Do you believe God when the preacher's in the presence? Or do you believe God in the middle of the night? Yeah. Hey man, in the middle of the night, in the hours of the morning, when you're all by yourself, can you see the evidence of oh God? God allows you to be a witness. You know what I am, Sister Christian. I'm just a witness. God called me to be a witness. You know what Christ told Lord in the third chapter of John? He said, We tell you that which we have seen and that we have heard and we receive on our witness. I believe God let me see. I used to tell I was in the car show one time, Mitchell. I'm going to get that old truck out and run the wheels off of it this year. I don't care. It tires up every time I start somewhere. I'll run everybody. I'll call somebody and drag it back in. Get it in there, man. Why am I going to witness? I've seen a lot of people get right with God, Jamie. Amen. I've seen a lot of people touched and cry. And I began to testify with an old man up there at the town in the car show, and he told me, he said, My God, he went to cry, and he said, You ought to sit down and write a book about what God's done for you. You know, I thought about that. I ain't much of a writer. But I could tell the story if I could find me somebody to keep up with it. Um, sometimes we get started journey, I can't slow down enough for people to get a hold of what God's done for me. You see, it ain't about me. It's like I told Brother Josh, hey man, watched him preach all week and his head a busted. I didn't even get to go back because my back went out, hey amen. Uh, come on. But I prayed for him. I watched him suffer. Do you know people don't even appreciate what the men of God do? Come on! That man said, you know how your head hurts. You know how it hurts. You know what he quit worrying about? He didn't worry about himself. He worried about the people that's dying and going to hell. Huh? Amen. Preachers ain't allowed to get sick. Do you know that? I had to spell my head and couldn't even walk. Got a call one morning they want me to preach a funeral. I said, my God, I can't even walk. I don't know what I can come. You know what they said? Get somebody to drive you. We'll get you a chair. You sit down. I said, all right, praise God. I'll get a driver. You better get me a chair. Then everybody got mad because I preached the truth. Huh? Come on. Huh? People want a babysitter, but they don't want a preacher. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. God loves you tonight. Amen. Amen. God loves you tonight. Amen. Amen. I, I, I pray all the time that God let these young be healthy and grow up and hear the gospel and be saved. 
Pray well about it. I like fishing more than my people do. When you, sister, when you like to see another bad day, give a lot to Jesus. I preach it won't happen yet, but yet we I'm it's not God's will to this person. all come to repentance. Amen. Now, come on. You know, if we just shut the other way and let God deal with it, most time they come on for you. Amen. Huh? They just surprise us. Amen. You want your sister to get saved? Will you believe with me tonight that God will touch her? And I don't mean in a way to just touch her and let her go. I'm asking you, do you want her saved? You know what I'd like to see? I'd like to see her set aside you in the house of God. Amen. Feel what you're up here. You see, I'm going to believe it, Jamie. I've been looking for her. Huh? Did you believe in me tonight? In the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God, in the name of Jesus, can you believe to the point that you can see her walking the aisle? Or Jesus, amen. She might get saved tomorrow. Uh, if she does, I'm coming over to White Talk to get you. Amen. <laughs> get it, amen. Oh, come on. Woo! I might have to go to the store tomorrow. You know what I believe? Yeah, bro, I'm not there. So Jesus is coming. I love him so much. I wonder just what kind of a walk do you heard people have with the Lord? What kind of evidence when people look at you? What kind of evidence you got? I mean, what kind of evidence you got? Huh? Come on. Don't get sold up mad at me tonight. I'm just asking you, what kind of evidence you got? Huh? Do you believe it? Amen. Hmm? When the devil says it takes you, tell him God says it takes Amen. Huh? Come on. The devil says it's impossible to tell God said all things are possible. And I believe God. Amen. Can you get that name? Well, I'm going to tell us one more thing. I'm going to you. Went to Burnsville, North Carolina. Me and my daddy in law. Amen. Worked for many years down in Burnsville, North Carolina, down Red Hill area, down that country. And we pulled up to a, a driveway one day. There's a house way off in the holler there. Here's my screen. We walked up, knocked on the door, and the little old woman in the house was screaming. She got done screaming, and she came to the door. You know what she was? She was shouting. You know what she's shouting for? Because she's been afraid that God sent somebody to fix her bathroom. Can I get an amen? Come on. Amen. Come on. She's been afraid and trusting God. Me and her got to have a meeting before old Bill had to fix the bathroom me and her at church. Hey man, but let me tell you something. She believed God. The toad. She had a big toad, Jack. Hey man, praise God. And they told her Dan Green got her foot. They was going to appetite her toe. Said he's going to get so bad he's going to have to take her leg off to her knee. And she said, no, you ain't. She said, I've got a father in glory. Amen. That's over. Dan Green. Can I get an amen? She said, look at your arm, preacher. Throw her foot up in the air, brother. You know what she said? She said, a gangrene eat the toenails off of that foot. She said, I want you to look what God's are doing. I said, my toenails are growing back. Can I get an amen? We can shine the victory for God. Amen. Still got her toes, still got her leg. And when we left, she still shouted. Probably never had a binder or nothing. We got to the day and time we think money makes us happy. Yeah. I've come to the place I'll give it up again, James. I'm glad you got your young man to hit me. Hey man, said preacher, you've lost your mind. I'm gonna hunt through this world and find somebody to get saved. That's what God said. Amen. Every time I try to work, He puts me on the flat on my back. You ever notice that? You notice that? Huh? Every time. Every time I come back, it ain't nothing to do with you. You ain't working too hard. I'm telling you that. But I'm telling you, every time I try to get out of the will of God, He puts me on the back. God showed me some things, sister. Huh? I've witnessed the people all over this world this week. You know, it's so strange. They call me. 
Amen. Call me. Now tell me God ain't good. And when it breaks loose, I ain't going to have time to work. So you're a deadbeat preacher. I've got news for you, praise God. I ain't never been a deadbeat. Huh? If you think it's easy to live for God and going for God, you try to fly and I work on that job. Amen. Amen, Keith. Keep quiet and cry. I'm gonna hug you believe God. Amen. Do you believe God? I know you do. Amen. I've tried to call you all week. You need to fix your phone. Amen. Or get you another one or two. Amen. Need to fix it or get you another. Because I had some word for you, amen. And praise to God, I thought I'd like to hunt him down. They went looking for him twice and never did find you. Amen. You know what people need? They need a good dose of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. God's people sitting around in dead churches, amen, and say, preach, he's throwing off on it. No, I'm telling you the truth. They're dried up. Lost their faith. Scary. Scary. Let me tell you something. I don't know where this is going. I'm going to tell you straight up. If God's leading you to win a soul. God's will teach you, want you to go and talk to somebody. To tell them about Jesus and win them to the Lord. Don't try to talk around the subject. Huh? Don't try to make, don't try to walk around it for days to get the point across. So what should I do, preacher? Burn it out. Yeah. Say, are you lost? Do you want to be saved? And if you do, I can help you. Can I get an amen? amen. Come on. Burn it out. So you're a nut. You know, I ain't never figured out how to walk, how to talk circle. God always sends me somewhere when He does, I just blurt it out. It's the only way I know to find it. Yell at that. Say, my God, if you're here in these prayer, I'm looking for you. Amen. No, come on, you. You call me when that fellow comes. You will. Amen. I will. You believe that? Yeah. Amen. Come on. I'm going to hug you. I'm done. It's your song. I don't know what you believe. I, I think we're going to just do a little soul searching. Find out just what we do believe. Hey Amen. Find out what we do believe. We got people telling us. We got people shooting up our schools. We got people dealing with dope. We got people. Hey Amen. It's living like hell and saying they're all right with God. We got preachers that stand in the pulpit every Sunday morning and preach doubt and confusion. When then we wonder why our children are so messed up. Amen. All we need is the truth, man. and it'll set us free. And I'm gonna hope so. All we need to do, Jacks, believe God. So what are you gonna do about your back, preacher? I'm going back Friday, praise God, and tell somebody about Jesus. When I get to the right one, you know what? I quit going to the red. Because you're crazy. Yeah. Amen. But I ain't gonna miss the opportunity. I ain't gonna miss that one, sister. I ain't saying it's easy. Sometimes it's a scary thing. Amen. Oh, it's worth it though. I'm gonna hush. I'm gonna hush. We get you a song. I'm gonna tell you, Brother Rick Rose sick. I mean he is sick. We all need to pray for him fervently. This could kill him. It's a matter of life and death. Amen. 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 And he said if he got through it, he wasn't coming back till the flu was over. I said, that'll be okay. We'll be praying for you. Amen. Thought about it all night long. About these little babies. 
He called me yesterday and I was sitting there holding little Laura Bell. Had her all cuddled up. He said, I've got the full blown flu. I said, My God, Rick. I give him a hard time, Trey. I said, You held your hands in your pocket for two months to keep you shaking hands and you shook my hand, son. <laughs> And I said, if you give me the flu, and I give it to my baby, you're a truck. Amen. Huh? Come on. I mean. I mean. Do you know what you do to these little to catch this stuff? I pray. God wouldn't let it come to me. I prayed all night long, so that may have been pretty. It might not have been my head. It might have been. A bird. That little baby I was holding. <clears throat> huh? Come on, people. Say, preacher. Wait. I'm going to tell you tonight, praise God. I studied with four about it all night long, and I've never missed a fellowship, but I'm going to miss one tonight. You know why? Because I'm going down to my daughter's tomorrow, and I'm going to hold my granddaddy. <laughs> Huh? Come on. You know what I think we're to do tonight? We'll just wave at one another and go to the house. <laughs> huh? Come on. Say, preacher, you're afraid. No, I'm being honest. It ain't about me. I've got another little life to watch over. Amen. You see, you already know I love you. That's shaking my hand. Amen. Come on. Amen. What's everybody else think about that? You yeah. gonna do that? Anybody yeah. gonna do that? Come on. Anybody gonna yeah. do that? Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody gonna do that, say yeah. preacher? Yeah. You see, there's one thing about me, Sister Louise. I'm on. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I'm on. So praise be unto God. Let's just uh, fellowship by. <laughs> Amen. I love you. Yeah. And come back Sunday. Amen. Yeah. Let's love one another. And praise God if you want you a little protection, squirt you a little juice on your head. Glory to God. Praise God. Amen. And pray for one another. You you come to your senses. Get your little juice, Jack. Yeah.